every time I act up, you know, mom cracked that whip on me, took that belt out and tore me up as soon as I acted up. And I mean, you're talking about pops. Now, my mom was good at throwing shoes. Oh, <laughs> oh, she hit you with the shoe? Oh, she hit you with the shoe. She had like a boomerang shoe. She hit you going and coming. So <laughs> Going and coming. Yeah, out. yeah you got nothing. <laughs> you don't even have a chance. <laughs> you ain't got a chance. I, I definitely so you got nothing. I definitely would rather get uh punished by my father than mother. Oh. Cause when she when she did it, it was Hey, touch your toes, don't move. Oh. Yeah. That's how moms used to do it. That's not only fans. <laughs> Mr. Delgado. What? My man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it, Yo. man. I love it. This is why we do what we do. My this is awesome. <laughs> this, bro. <laughs> hey, all right. Um, so you're a Houston fan. What do you think about OSU product, CJ Stroud? Mm. Mm. Offensive rookie of the year. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, how can you argue? The production is there. The numbers are there. I thought he should have been talked about in the MVP. You know, that I mean, um, what other team finished where they finished without CJ? The only thing they really added was CJ. And D'Amico. And D'Amico. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But without CJ, who's throwing to D'Amico? Point there. You know, so got a point there. Um, you know, and, and to take nothing away from Baltimore. Yeah. They were a winning team with or without Lamar. Lamar. Okay. Sure. And so um I thought he should have been talked about more. Yeah. And as an MVP candidate. And I, everybody just settled on, you know, offensive rookie MVP and mm -hmm. all that. But his numbers stack up with anybody else's numbers. And, and I know you got something to say about it, but Tank Dell was a receiver I think you were talking about. You said who's going to throw it to D'Amico. D'Amico Ryans was the uh, head the coach. coach. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. right. Yeah. 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 D'Amico is coach. Well, yeah. Yeah. And he should have been coach of the year. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what no I was about question. to say, too. You know, we definitely should be coach of the year. Stefanski, you got to stop moving. Yeah. I'm trying. Um, not. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, he should have been coach Sweet of the year. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but, but. Again, um, and again, not taking nothing away from Kevin Stefanski because the job he did with Cleveland was a good job. But, you know, I, I know, I know. Um, Stiller. Yeah. But but um, that's because he's a hater. Mm. You know, mm. you know, and you Talk come about by, it. he comes by natural. He's a Steeler fan. Mm. Right? But but, you know, I think D'Amico Ryan, honestly, um, with a rookie quarterback new offense new players mm -hmm. new systems mm -hmm. new management i mean everything was new and they look what they did I, I this should have been mvp he should have been coach of the year in my opinion that's a good, great opinion i know you'll touch on it but they also yeah. had the uh, defensive rookie of the year as well so that should even help his case for him to right. be coach of the year but go ahead i know you lost oh, no, i was just gonna agree with what he was saying about cj I, I was sold on CJ because I watched him play quite a few times there at Ohio State. And I watched him live. I went to a few of his practices. And I just watched how he was able to make all the throws, see the field. He had a great understanding in whatever it was that, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever it was that he was pl placed in front of. And then, you know, uh, struggled a little bit against Michigan. And then they got another chance to uh, play in the playoffs, college playoffs, play lights out against Georgia. Now, I know we're talking a, a, a year ago or whatnot, but give or take a, full, a field goal, they're playing in the national title game instead of Georgia. And then that momentum that he carried from playing against Georgia carried right into his rookie year. Absolutely. Playing with the Houston Texans. You, he didn't lose a beat. You're missing something. Come on. Yeah. Because I don't like the way they do the combine. Okay. Because they talk bad about him at the combine. What? They I, did him dirty. They, yeah. They did him dirty at the combine. They talked about his – intelligence, lack of intelligence, inability to read defenses, mm -hmm. this new mental test that they have going out. They got him you know, his attention. So they, you know, they, they did him dirty. They did. They did. And, and um, I think it was some of those 
collusion from those other football teams um, that are regretting it now. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, um, yeah. because they, they, they talk bad about him without even looking about how he performed. Mm-hmm. They got away from the film. Yep. You know, they talk about a man's hands. They talk oh, about, yeah, yeah, all that. you know, they talk about his, it used to be, what is it, the Wonder Lick? It the Wonder Lick test. Now it's this other set. So Try and find faults yeah, for no reason. They yeah. try to find all these faults in him. And instead of judging him for what he did on the field, who he did it with, and, and how he elevated those pe- those other players' games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the thing that CJ didn't do at Ohio State, which was new, because he wasn't a, really a running quarterback. He was right, didn't run. Right. You know, so um, really, uh, him as an NFL style quarterback should have had more, more looks. Yeah, he ended up at the right spot. Though. Right everything spot. Happens for That's everything. Well, happens for he did end short. up at at the right spot with the right coach mm-hmm. and the right offensive coordinator, but um, teams are. Look, it's going to cost him money, man. It, it costed him money. It, I mean, if we're being real, it yeah, costed yeah. him money. Absolutely. You know, and they did it purposely. I don't like collusion. Well, yeah, I get you. But given the situation, okay, I was just, given the situation that he was placed in, and all the fault that everyone was talking and giving to him, I felt like he responded in the most best, absolute way possible by going yeah. out and letting his game talk. He did that. <sighs> Conclusion. You said they did it in conclusion? Collusion. 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 What, yeah. what do you mean by that? Like, just keep it. So the NFL owners, the yeah. NFL owners um, and the general managers, um, they come together and they collude with each other to say, mm, we like this guy, but we don't like this guy. We like his game, but we don't like that game. We like that coach, but we don't like that coach. We like that school. But we don't like that school. We okay. like we like that okay. we like that particular uh, Big Ten. Well, really, it's not the Big Ten. It's the SEC that everybody likes. But you yeah, know, yeah. we like this SEC, but we don't like the Big Ten. So automatically, they just discount. I see. I, yeah. That that this that this young man who accomplished so much in a small amount of time. They they classified him as a system mm-hmm. quarterback. Come on, Bernie. <laughs> we was going to say that, man. Game manager. Well, the future's bright for CJ. It is. It is. Very bright. Very bright. Um, as long as he can. Yeah,